I'm CJ with Stutter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool six drawer minimalist dresser on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. What is up? Happy Saturday. CJ here with Stutter Builds, and in today's video, we are still working on this nursery for my firstborn son. Today, we're going to be building a minimalist dresser. Plans provided by Anna White, I'll have them linked down below. Very DIY friendly, but to walk you through the materials you're gonna need for this project, obviously she has a detailed plan on how to do this. Very DIY friendly. What we essentially got here are some one by twos, one by threes, one by fives, one by 10, two by two, and then a uh, four by eight sheet of plywood here. So I'm gonna start breaking down this material. This project is going to be utilizing brad nails and wood glue super DIY friendly. And then obviously you're gonna need some drawer slides <coughs> to as well. We got our 16 inch Euro slides. Those are just the cheapest ones. And then we also have some leftover half inch plywood for the drawer boxes. So stay tuned. I'm gonna start ripping down this material and we'll start putting this together.
is up. I uh, just wanted to update everyone where I'm at on this project, this minimalist DIY dresser for the nursery here. So we have pretty much our carcass built here um, with the top over here. This is going to just slide over the top of that. We're going to attach it with some brad nails and glue. I'm going to sand it down and then we need to put in the support pieces in the center here and then we will go ahead and start to build out the drawers. Alright, so, so far we have the entire cabinet carcass built here. Now we're going to be working on the drawer slides. Stay tuned for that. Cool. So we have the uh, drawers built out. I have to go in and actually do the bottoms here. We're going to cut that on the table saw using some leftover plywood. Hopefully I have enough there of the half inch and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. I'm going to get these nailed and glued from underneath. We'll install the drawer slides and then we should be good to apply some paint, sand everything down and we'll be good to go. All right, we're almost to the finish line here. We have our drawer boxes all set up, ready to go. Now we're gonna be installing the drawer slides. Um, this does take quite a while. Obviously, if you have a table saw, it'll go much faster, um, but essentially you're just connecting these with wood glue and brad nails. So I had some left over. That's why you'll notice there's different patterns on the inside. So use what you got, right? Why spend more money? But Let's go ahead and get these drawer slides installed to the bottom of each of these. We'll get this in there leveled out and we'll, we'll go from there. So stay tuned.
right, so we're working on finishing this minimalistic dresser. We're making sure everything's level, working on the drawer fronts now. We're cutting these at a 45 on the table saw, and then we are attaching them with brad nails on the front. And then I'm using just, I don't know if you can see that, one and one fourth pocket hole screws on the inside. No pocket holes, but it seems to work really well to hold it. But a lot was learned on this project. I'm rounding these edges over too, because they're pretty sharp, especially when you go to grab the drawer. So I'm doing that on each side here. But after we get these other drawer fronts tacked in, I'm gonna cut down the rest of them on table saw here. We're gonna fill in all these holes with a bunch of filler, and then we'll go from there. So stay tuned. So here is the final piece, the minimalist modern dresser. Again, this was a great learning experience. Learned a lot from it. I'm glad with how it turned out. Over there, we got the DIY crib on the dark wall. Over here, we got the darker dresser on the white wall. So stay tuned for the rest of the build. I hope you guys like this project. Be sure to subscribe, like this, share this. Also tag me on Instagram with any of your latest projects. I'd love to see what everyone's working on. Stay tuned.